What's going on guys? Stefan here, SNE's Garage. Today we have our 2014 Kawasaki STX 15F uh, jet ski. Uh, if you watched my most recent video prior to this one, we literally just got done winterizing this. Um, so I figured I would do a separate video on doing an oil change because an oil change isn't exactly something that you need to do when you winterize. Um, it's preference. Some people like to do their oil change in the spring. Um, I like to do it in the winter when I winterize it because um, I don't want any of that old oil. You know, as oil breaks down um, from use, uh, all those byproducts of combustion get into the oil and it can turn the oil acidic almost. Um, and I don't want that sitting in the ski all winter, so we're going to put some fresh oil in it. We're going to change the filter, um, and I'm going to go over with you exactly how to do that. Uh, you are going to need some sort of a fluid transfer pump because you have to drain this through the dipstick tube. Uh, this one I purchased from Amazon. I will drop a link to the description uh, or a link to it in the description below. Uh, if you purchase from those links, the channel does get a small cut, and we greatly appreciate that. Uh, we are going to be using a Wix 51358 oil filter, and we are going to be using Liquid Molly 10W40 um, jet ski motor oil. This is made specifically for uh, PWCs, personal watercraft, um, so that's the route that I decided to go. Um, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to get you set up. What we're going to do is we're going to measure exactly how much oil we take out. We're going to drain it here into this old oil bucket, and it's got um, all the markings for how many quarts come out. Um, and then we're also going to change the oil filter, and we're going to know exactly how much to put in. I am not going to start this jet ski until next season. Uh, so next season, when I go to start it up, I will double check, make sure the oil is full. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to change the oil filter. It is right here underneath the intake manifold. You'll just barely see it right here so we're going to go ahead we're going to sneak our hands in there break that loose um, then we're going to go ahead put the new oil filter on so one thing i've noticed is to work on these things you almost have to be a contortionist because you really have to get your hands down in here and it's kind of tricky so we're going to do our best to get in here and break this loose um, i might do it off camera because it, it really this is going to be rather tricky especially with the size of my forearms. Let me get in there. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it after I figure out how I'm going to do it. All right, guys. So we were actually able to get in there with this oil filter cup. This is an Imperial. I've actually had this thing forever. Part number IF-6714. It is made in the USA. I'll go ahead and link this down below. All I went ahead and did was put it on here snuck it down into here, got it on the filter, and broke it loose. So now that the filter is loose, I can go ahead and work it out the rest of the way by hand. You want to be very careful not to drop the filter down into the belly of the beast here. especially when it gets oily. So I'm just threading this out by hand right now. Okay. And out she comes. like so. So here's our old filter. You'll see there's a little bit of rust on it, but it's nothing too crazy. We're going to go ahead and put this off to the side. We're going to get our new filter. We're going to screw it on. I did do some research here before I just went ahead and purchased another Kawasaki oil filter, and I'm glad that I did. You'll see here, here's the factory oil filter here. Here is our wicks. And you'll see that our wicks is a bit taller, and that's going to give us more filter media um, so it's going to filter the oil better. It's going to have more media in there to absorb uh, dirt and particles. So I'm super glad we did that. We're going to go ahead. We're going to take some oil. We're going to lubricate this seal. And then we're going to go ahead and install this filter into the ski. All right. So now we're just going to snug that up. We just got it on. And uh, we're going to move to the next step, pumping the oil out. 
All right, guys, so as you saw before, we did go ahead and take out our dipstick. Here's the dipstick here. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're going to run this small straw plastic tubing from our new pump down into the dipstick tube until it doesn't go anymore. And then we're gonna go ahead and connect it to our pump. On this pump here, you'll see there's a direction. The fluid flows that way. So this end is going to go here. We're gonna tighten this little worm gear clamp down. Okay, this bigger hose here is going to go on this side here, like so, and then we are going to take our empty oil jug here, we're going to rest it right here, and we're going to feed this into there. So now all we have to do is connect this pump. You can either use the battery on your jet ski, you can use a, a, a jump starter, you know, whatever you want to use um, to power this pump, it really doesn't matter. So let me go ahead and connect this to the battery. Uh, I might go try to find my jump box, I don't remember where I put it, but if I can't find that, I'll just use the battery on the jet ski, it's not a big deal. Alright guys, we got our pump all hooked up. We're going to go ahead, turn it on. and we're gonna let it start doing its thing. Be back with you when it's done all right guys so we're still here pumping uh, there's one thing I do want to make a note of you definitely want to make sure this clamp is tight because I didn't have it that tight at first and uh, it was aerating the oil as it was sucking it and it wasn't sucking fast enough so once I tighten that it started running a lot better and I went ahead and found my jump box so I'm not killing the battery on the jet ski either so we're just going to finish letting this drain we're going to measure what came out, and then we're going to fill the ski back up. All right, guys, so we're coming up to the end of our drain here. You'll see we're getting some air bubbles in this now. And we're a little bit over four quarts that we've drained out, and that should be perfect because this thing that I bought is 4.2 quarts. Uh, so I think we're going to be perfect here. I'm just going to let this finish up, and then we're going to fill it up with oil and check our dipstick. All right, guys, we finished our drain. Like I said, we got about a little less than four and a half quarts out of it. So I'm hoping this is enough. Um, if it's not, I might have to buy some more. So we'll see. But let's go ahead and pour this nice fresh oil in here. got to pour this stuff in real slow.
get some paper towels here. Try to clean up our mess a little bit. We did spill a little. And then we're going to check the dipstick, see what's in it. Alright guys, let's check our oil. I'd say that's perfect. Well, there you have it, guys. A nice, quick, easy way to change your oil on your Kawasaki 15F jet ski. If this video helped you, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. I am going to add down below uh, links to everything we used. I'm going to put the oil, the oil filter, the vacuum pump we used, uh, the oil fluid transfer pump, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it'll all be down below. And uh, if you buy from those links, it helps the channel, so we appreciate it. See you on the next one.